A nursing poem. Why did I become a nurse? Maybe I was inspired by someone, or maybe it was just me. But how was this going to happen? I researched this to see how this was going to be. Eventually I signed up for the classes. They call prerequisites, the math, the English, the history, and all the sciences. After finally completing all those classes and entrance exams, I applied to nursing school, then waited. How exciting it was to be finally accepted into nursing school, but this was just the next step with years till graduation date. After years of sleepless nights, stressed out days, test taking, skills, and clinical training, it had been a few years, but I was finally graduating. But then another test, the nursing boards, to get that license to make it all legal, to bring closure to what started years before. Then applying for a job as a nurse, the applications and the interviews, but then the offer, and finally the good news. You get the job, then the real learning begins, then the training and learning how to really take care of patients. Learning about different diseases, medications, learning how to organize your time, becoming part of a profession, a unit, becoming a nurse colleague, as well as all the charting and documenting. I am a nurse. I am learning every day. I am a nurse and without a patient, I don't need to be a nurse. Then what is it all for? I am a nurse and because you are my patient, I want to do more. For my patients, I am there when they are born, when they wake up, when they close their eyes, when they have pain, when they are afraid, we talk, we hold hands, share a hug, laugh and cry. When there is an emergency, I run to you and hope I remember to do all the things I need to do. When you are resting for a minute or two from your sickness, I still watch over you. I bring in a fan when you are hot or a warm blanket when you are cold. And I monitor and watch your heartbeat, your breathing, so many things that you don't even know. I share information I have learned to answer all of your questions. I am an advocate preventing harm from coming your way. I am there when you sleep and when you begin your first steps towards your recovery. I am there to make you comfortable and to give you a little peace from your illness so that you can heal and rest. As a nurse, I provide support and realize that not everyone will get well or leave. So I am there with you so you are not alone when you take your last breath. I am there for your families to offer a comforting word, a shoulder and some emotional support. This part never gets easier, the goodbyes and the broken hearts. Some may ask why I sacrifice myself, skip a meal and stay late, just to make sure that you, my patient, is safe. As a nurse, I give my patients my all, but I am the one who receives. No one but a nurse could understand why I do what I do and why I chose to be. I am a nurse. Maybe I was inspired by someone, or maybe it was just me. But being a nurse could never, ever compare to anything.